everyone! Today I'm going to be making a balloon powered Lego car. For this, I used a classic Lego set. You will need duct tape, scissors, one balloon, but I would keep an extra just in case, and straw. So, you for the Legos, you will need one base, three two by four pieces, a small one by four piece, and an edge. This is also one by four. Should have a slanting at the edge. Two connectors and four wheels. You need a small white piece that has hole in it for the straw to go through. Two clear pieces, which is optional, and a person, which is also optional. So to start off, you're going to get your base and you're going to add your two connectors to it. The two connectors are for your wheels. When you attach your wheels, make sure there's nothing coming in the way to stop the wheels from moving. Add your three two by four pieces. I stack two of mine up and then I put one right next to it. Next, I added my edge piece. And my two clear pieces with my one by four on top. It should look like this from the front. So now we're going to set that aside and let's start on your balloon motor. So I left my white piece um, separate because you're going to need this for measuring. So you put your straw through one of the holes and make sure... Now you're going to take your duct tape and you're going to attach your balloon. Any tape will work fine, but I use duct tape for extra secure. Yes. Get the right place where you want your duct tape to go. And I slid my balloon on top of my straw, and then I taped it together. Once you've taped it together, make sure that there's enough room for the balloon to be blown up. As you can see, my balloon was able to blow up properly. Make sure at the edge of the duct tape it is secure so no air gets through. Now we're going to bring our car back. We're going to attach our balloon. Attach your white piece. Make sure the wheels are moving properly. And make sure your balloon is still able to blow up. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to cut my straw just so I can keep more space. You can move your balloon over so it doesn't come in the way of the Lego parts. And now it's time to test drive.